Hey guys, I'm Artsy, and today I am going to be designing some Nezuko based stickers because ever since I've watched Demon Slayer, I fell in love with Nezuko's design. It's so cute, and I wanted to make some stickers, or at least design some. I'm probably not going to do anything with them, or maybe even get, not even get them made, but it was, was just really fun to do, considering Nezuko is one of my favorite anime characters of all time. Now, to anybody who's watched Demon Slayer, and if you have to, you definitely should. It's a really good anime, yada yada, whatever, done with the Demon Slayer review. Please don't be mad that I did the ends of her hair. I did them pink instead of red, and I know they're supposed to be red, but... I really like cohesive color palettes, and I wanted to stick to a color palette of f like four to six colors, so I decided to do the ends of her hair a hot pink because it's sort of similar, not really, but sort of. Now, for this sticker I'm working on right now, I originally only planned to do one, but then I decided that maybe I should design a few, a few chibis, and then one big one. And at first, I didn't know if I wanted to use colored lines f over the really dark pink, red, black areas, like her hair and her kimono. But I decided that I would, I don't really know why, just because I thought it would look like cute. So that's what I ended up doing. For the shading, I used a very dark, almost black, reddish pink color and for the outlines of the black areas and the highlights I used a very light pinkish gray color. Lately I've been liking using a more blendy style for the shading and the highlights so that's what I stuck to for this piece. Anyway this is my first Nezuko sticker. Hope you like it! Now, for the rest of my Nezuko stickers, I want to do some really cute, chibi Nezuko moments. So, the first one I did was a Nezuko in a box, and the second one was Nezuko inching around in a sleeping beanbag kind of thingy, because in a few episodes you could see her eavesdropping in one of those. And the third one is Nezuko fighting, and I think that that's probably had the most movement out of the three. So I stuck to the same colors for the mini stickers and the big stickers and I even used the same outline color for both. So I didn't really know originally what to do for this week's video. Also, by the way, I'm going to be going back to my regular schedule of posting once per week because school is about to start and I have to prepare and anyway I'm just gonna go back to the regular once a week video schedule kind of thing so I tried to not color the lines of the black stuff for this to try to make them a little different but after realizing that that was a bad idea, I did it anyway. So, for the chibi stickers, I did not do an outline, and I did cell shading and cell highlights, because I don't really know if cell highlights is a thing, but I wanted to make them look less, like, less detailed, because they're meant to be little chibi stickers that... Are, I don't know, they're smaller, they're going to be less detailed. That's all I have to say about this. So, yeah, here are my super cute Nezuko stickers. By the way, I originally was going to make the background blank, but then I decided to color it in pink, considering I am never going to actually make these stickers. So, yeah. Um, definitely watch Demon Slayer if you haven't already. It's a good show. And hope you like these, quote, stickers I made, even if I'm not going to really actually make them. So, thanks for watching. Bye!